looks like he's about a half yard short. Well, that was an interesting formation. It was a, a split backfield. Now watch it. You see they get the motion to get a little thing in the secondary there. And they just hand to Pete Johnson is just straight ahead man to man blocking. We see Blair Bush number 58 does an excellent job of getting Johnson a little crease. Bush put the block and the knock and the takedown on Archie Reese. Second down and goal for Cincinnati. Ball inside the one. Johnson again. Johnson again. This time he is hit by Jack Reynolds and knocked backwards, if you can believe that. We talk about Jack Reynolds and the way that he studies. He knows down here. Watch his determination. Look at that. This is goal line. This this brings out everything in a person. Now watch. It. He's watching Pete Johnson right away. He sees him. He goes right to the hole. Turns up when Johnson does. Meets him square, and that's the end of Pete Pete Johnson's going forward. Reynolds led with his head, and he stays. Eleventh play in this drive coming up. Anderson will look and throw. Alexander does not get in. Dan Buns is the 49er who hit him at the half yard line. They got to go again, and that's what Forrest Gregg has already said. Go for it. Look, he's he's going he's to take a timeout because he wants to, one, he has fourth down. He only has one play. He wants to, one, talk about it, and two, make sure that he's making the right decision. He needs a half yard. After this was a great tackle by Dan Buns. He's a backup linebacker. Over the years, he has been a starter, but this should have been a touchdown here. When this is completed here, Alexander turns, and Buns was right there. Boom. What? That's great coverage. On Outstanding. Line. Outstanding. That's what they have left. Just less than a yard. Forrest Gregg is quite a man, really. You hear a lot of talk about him being such a strict disciplinarian, and he admits it because he said, I've seen it succeed. Let's see if Kenny Anderson can succeed. They give to Johnson, and I don't know. Uh, the 49ers don't think he made it. It goes on the bottom of that pile, Jack Reynolds again. Number 64. Watch this. Now everyone gets low. It's goal line. Defense gets low. They beat him down there. The defense beat the offense. You see him. They got underneath the offensive line and got penetration. Watch his first move to the defensive line and they're down low. Now a hacksaw can come over the top and stop the penetration. There were a lot of folks on the bottom and hacksaw was on the top. That's a team effort for San Francisco's defense. 49ers lining up in their own end zone. A great goal line stand by their defensive cohorts. They lead 20 to 7. The give us the ring. He gets out to about the three or three and a half. Glenn Cameron, the tackler. Let's look at that goal line play again. Watch this again. Watch this play. The whole, all those white jerseys look like the whole 49er defense was there. And then watch after the play when they know that they stopped. And watch Ronnie Lott here, number 42. <laughs> look at Archie Reese. He's staying down there and exciting. He's the he's the leader of that type of group. <laughs> they just flat beat him off the ball. The defense sure beat the offense off the ball. Second down for Montana and his offense. Ring again. Ring is tipped up and hit down at about the eight. Bobby Kemp. Cincinnati's tackler. It'll be third down. He probably won't run a play. They'll wait for the third quarter to end. They'll just stay in the huddle until the gun goes off for the third quarter. Now Montana already has headed for the bench as the third quarter winds down. And that's it. The gun ends it. 138 yards to three, not including that last sequence by San Francisco in the third quarter. They lead 20 to seven.
Big third down play. They need three, four, perhaps. Pat Summerall with John Madden. Solomon stood out wide to the right as you looked at the defense of San Francisco. Montana calls him. Ricky Patton in motion. Montana gives him a draw play to Cooper. He won't make it. Ross Browner was the first man to hit him. Jim Miller has had a good day. Mike Fuller back deep for Cincinnati. The Bengals may have a punt block on here. Not one of Miller's best, but it does take a good bounce, but right to Fuller. Not much doing as the 49er coverage is there quickly. Mike Thomas, the first man down. 44-yard punt. Super Bowl 16 is the football you're looking at with one more quarter to go. 13.58 remaining. Bengals have it at their own 44. They've been close a lot of times. They've scored only once. Anderson, the quarterback. Johnson gets across midfield down to the San Francisco 49. Jack Reynolds again the tackler. Look at this statistic here Pat that the Bengals have led the National Football League in fourth quarter points. They've scored more points in the fourth quarter than any other team in the league. San Francisco leading by 13. Second down for Cincinnati. Just across the midfield strike. Anderson. Back quickly. Dean chasing Anderson. Throws. He has Collinsworth. Inside the 40 to the 38. It'll be a Cincinnati first down. Willie Harper takes him down. We'll look at Collinsworth first, and then we'll show you the pass rush. Here's where a six foot five receiver outside receiver is really something for a quarterback. He can run those inside patterns against his zone, square his shoulders, show the quarterback his numbers, and Anderson can hit him right between the eight and the O. I watched Fred Dean against Anthony Munoz. He's right there. Munoz has his hands in front and then pushes him to the outside just enough. First down, Cincinnati. Ball at the San Francisco, 38. Alexander, wide right. Along with Curtis, they'll throw again. Dean is almost loose, throws down the middle. Dan Ross, the tight end. Another first down. And we've watched a lot of films and tapes on Dan Ross, and he catches more balls like that that really aren't right to him. Watch, he's the inside guy here. Again, they're working against his zone. Push up, square around, show the quarterback your numbers, and then just slide a little to the outside. I made a mistake about the first down business. It's about a foot short. Yeah, that's good enough. That's okay if it's good enough. I that's was a good situation. Second, it's like a free down. I was going to apologize, but I won't. Yeah. Second down. Listen. Down the middle. A lot of bumping, and a penalty marker comes down. I saw it coming. It was intended for Curtis, and it's going to be against Roddy Lott. Now this is an interesting one. If the ball is in the air, it's pass interference, and the defense ball will be spotted at 15. Number 42, defense, first down. Haggerty called it pass interference, or one of, one of his henchmen did. Right, I was just talking about that, Pat. You see if the ball is in the air, it's just on the left of your picture here. You see right there is Ronnie Lott come in and, and, and got a bump before the ball got there. That'll make it first down Cincinnati at the San Francisco 15. Clock running. Clock stop. Sorry. 11.42. Alexander goes out to the right again. Anderson goes back again. He is chased again. And he throws. Incomplete. I don't know. That's a close one. He threw that one. There was no receiver in the area. The closest men were two offensive linemen. That really, that really should be a penalty for throwing the ball away. The Bengals get a break here. Watch this pass rush. You know, watch, there'll be no one here in the picture except the offensive linemen. There was Max Montoya, number 65, and he's not.